Good morning everyone. Welcome to the very sunny Caribbean. Riley and I are going to catch and cook our own conch today because we've never done it before and we've been in the Caribbean for a while now so it's about time. Apparently um, there's a bit of an art to it. There is a bit of an art to it. We've googled it beforehand and we're going to show you how we cook our conch and we say conch but I think a lot of people pronounce it conk. Conk. But today it's conch that we're cooking and we've spotted some under the boat so this is what has inspired us to make the video today. So yeah I hope you guys enjoy as much as we do. Hopefully the conch is nice. <laughs> And yeah, I looked into it and conch is okay to eat while pregnant as long as you cook the heck out of it. So we're gonna have fried conch today. Shouldn't That's be too difficult happening. to do. Yeah. I'm usually overcooking things. You can put conch in a chowder, you can have raw conch on a salad. Conch salad is quite popular. What other conches can you have, or else? Conch potatoes. You can have conch potatoes, fried conch. <laughs> what else does Bubba say? I don't know. I got nothing for you guys. That's all I got. Conch curry, conch soup. Fox rolling in of this riverbank Like a shroud It covers bleaker street Fills the alleys where men sleep Hides the shepherd from the sheep So conch are basically a giant snail in a shell that should point at both sides. They're really beautiful. And you can see the slug, you can see the snail right now. Try to understand. I saw a shadow touch a shadow thing on bleaker street. The poet reads his crooked rhyme. Holy, holy. That'll have to do us, Elena. <laughs> so the, the bit where he's hanging out, you can imagine he's wrapped around inside there. So if we sort of smash out this area here, then you can get your knife in there and wiggle it around. And then you cut the bits where he's suction to his shell and that just falls out and then you pull him out slurp him up so i finally got one that's it, what it's supposed to look that's like that's what they're supposed to look like for that one it was just bashed the shit out of it i just smashed off this whole end here and then it just slid right out piece of cake it's very messy it is Occasion. The camera's got conch spiders all over it. That's better. I mean, this is the first time I've done it, but this is the mollusk snail thing. And apparently you can eat all of this. What about these parts? Apparently you can eat all of it. What I've read. They've got eyes. I'm not eating them. That's not eyes. Look. Oh, they do look like eyes. <laughs> Creepy. So Riley's just cutting off the hard shell part. You also have to cut out the digestive gland and any other dark bits. So he's just going through them now because you only want to cook the muscle. So that's what we're trying to get it down to. Apparently now you have to tenderize and smack them down with a hammer. I've got no idea how this is going to turn out. So. Now we've got to cut the conch up into approximately inch wide strips. You can see a little brown bit in that one. That's like... alright. That little guy? I wouldn't worry about that little guy. So basically we're going to batter them and a friend told me this recipe so that's what I'm going to do now. First I'm going to use three eggs probably for this amount of meat that I have. Crack three eggs and whisk them in a bowl. Now I'm going to add some milk to this mix, salt and pepper and some cumin. So I've got a plate here of breadcrumbs and also some almond meal, but you can use normal flour if you want. We're trying to make this conch, this deep fried conch, a little bit healthier if we can. That's almond meal, that's also breadcrumbs. So now we're going to dip the conch in the egg, roll it in the breadcrumbs, and that's it. I'm going to fry it. Peace of mind. Take off without a warning. And chase those dreams of mine Hush, hush, honey, don't you go and cry 
The grass ain't always greener. I just realized I left the water in with the conch meat, so drain them first. <laughs> Otherwise, they're gonna be all wet. So, we just drained the conch and they're looking much better, and it's gonna be much easier to roll. <laughs> So we've had a pretty chilled out day and um, we've left the conch for this afternoon, well, for dinner. So I'm about to deep fry it. I've chosen to deep fry it in some coconut oil. It's still going to be a lot of oil though. Oh yeah, they already smell good. It's going to be amazing. It's supposed to cook until golden brown. Depending on the thickness size, that looks pretty golden brown to me, but I might leave them just a little bit longer. I'm pretty excited to try this cack for the first time. It looks really good. What's happening here? I'm going to make you try the thickest piece. It looks check. like KFC. It does look like KFC. I used to live across the road from a KFC with my mate Scotty when I was a 22. Party <laughs> and we would wake up on Sunday mornings and you could smell it from across the road. So I was like eating KFC a lot Gross. for a period there. Well, this isn't KFC. I might do the trick. Do you want to give it a go? I need How are you anyway, Scotty? I need you to see if this is um, cooked through because that's the thickest piece. It's going to be hot. Damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it. Damn it, damn it. It's probably still really hot. Mmm. Is it all right? Not what I was expecting. What does it taste like? Mmm. You don't have to laugh at the camera. What does it taste like? Mmm. <laughs> Babe? It tastes like someone has crumbed a cat foot. <laughs> really? And, um, oh no. What did I do that wrong? That had been, it had passed away for... <laughs> A week and it was like semi submerged for that time, so the cat foot was just sort of floating. Babe, does it really? Oh, is no. it pretty yuck? Maybe the cat was only three days. Babe, tell me what it really tastes like. It's alright. Needs a sauce. Taste it, it tastes like a cat foot. Alright. Give me some hit. <laughs> Give me the sauce. <laughs> it's really hot. Oh, <laughs> come on. It was hot. <laughs> sorry, sorry everyone. <laughs> I honestly think Riley's being a bit harsh. It doesn't taste like cat foot. Were you being a little bit harsh? You've had your second one now. My third? Oh, I'm hungry. He's That's on his why. third and he's hungry. It's not much food. Um, it's though. quite chewy and... It's smelly. It does not smell. Stop, you're not painting a very good picture of conch. Well, that was lovely. Another end to another lovely day. Anything to say? I feel like I should try to say something of substance for the people out there watching, but I just, nothing springs to mind on Lana. I think I had sunstroke at some stage and I've been below 20 metres as well. So I'm a bit frazzled. A bit puff. You got your vino? Can't complain. It would be good if you were all here now and you could just ask me a question. Why don't you ask me a question in the comment section and I'll try and, I'll try and get to it. That sounds pretty good. And um, I'm going to say goodnight as well. Thank you all for watching. I would recommend trying that conch recipe. It wasn't as bad as what Riley was making out. It's actually really nice and I'm excited to experiment with more conch recipes. Like, and it's, yeah, it's everywhere. So, anyway. It wasn't actually that bad. It wasn't, thank you. It was, it was, uh, well, I just thought it would be funnier if I carried on a little bit. <laughs> you Elena. didn't, you just. Some people are never going to eat conch. Elena, as soon as the camera stopped, Elena's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Tell them your funny joke you said. Oh, I said, uh, I said I'm all conked out. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm so funny, Riley. It was, it was great. <laughs> Good night, guys. Please give the video a like and drop Riley a comment because he's going to get to those. Reply to all of them. Yeah. We love you guys. Curse tree.